Hey guys, Gabby Gabby Studios 789 here, and um, today, um, someone requested, I can't remember, but I think a while ago, someone wanted me to do this. Um, sorry, that's my squeaky chair. Yeah, <laughs> but um, someone requested this, um, it's how, it, like, or, <laughs> sorry, um, <laughs> What do I use to make my customs? Like all my materials. Um, so this is what Gabby Gabba uses. Um, yeah, I said behind that bush. Jeez, you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Just just watch Fire Miss Storm until I get one Lego video till the end. Um, let's start off with the main thing you're gonna want. want uh, any type of markers preferably permanent markers um, you can do any type of markers if you use all um, what I'm about to show you after this um, but these are big um, yeah Big market. Sorry, the the software for YouTube like freezed for a second there, and I thought it like stopped recording me. But that's what that's what I use. I use like this. I got a big pack of them, and it came with like a ton of colors. So I I use that a lot. Um, another marker that I use is. This crate, like if you guys have noticed, there's no really good um, skin color, um, like for this color of the skin, like for, like for that color, um, there really isn't a good marker that matches that. So I've tried out a ton of markers before. I've tried the Sharpie peach color. I tried the Bic peach color. This is like the worst color. It, it looks really bad, but whatever. Um, but then I'm like, you know what? Why not give Crayola a chance? Because a lot of people don't like Crayola, but um, I found a way to like it because it's pretty good. So this color Crayola, it's not the hardest color to find, but not the easiest color to find. So you might have to look around for this specific color. Um, why am I talking so much about this? But the color is called Sandy Tan, so if you guys find that, I totally recommend it. It looks very much like the color. Um, but what I was saying, you're only going to need permanent markers, or you can use any type of markers if you use all-purpose labels. This is the container that mine comes in. I know, you guys can see my big manly hands, but whatever. And no, I'm, I'm, I'm a girl. I'm just saying that. I have a giant hand. Whatever. Um, um, here, open this up. Here's a thing of all purpose labels. Um, I'm starting to run out. I don't have very much left. I mean, I do have a lot, but probably a few months. Um, the all purpose label is this big in comparison to. A minifig, so what you gotta do is like put the arms back on a minifig like that, and then you just um, sorry, I'm doing this off camera, but lay the thing on there, then trace what you can see, and you got a template that you just made. Congratulations! It's like the craziest thing in the world. Oh my god! It's like crazier than Chuck Connor find, finding a fampy. And then I also use correction fluid, which is also known as whiteout. Pretty good. I use it a lot. And, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. It's your smudge on my camera. Oh, no, it just looks bad. I don't know why. Whatever, but, sorry. Um, there you go. It's whiteout. Uh, it works very good. It's pretty much... Almost, 
it's pretty good. It's like here's some good things about it. It dries really fast. Um, and you can color sharpies on it for color. I usually use this for like um, shoes for my many things. Um, I don't. I don't know. I use this mo like for the shoes. I usually use on my Pokemon trainers. But there you go. That's it. Crap. Five minutes. I have so much crap to show you still. Okay, whatever. But you can put um permanent markers only. But you can use you can put permanent markers once this on it once this is dried, and it looks relevantly good. So let's put it back. Um. Now another kind type of marker I use is very easy. Um. Obviously, sharpies. There's a gold, gold and silver one. My silver one's messed up. But gold and silver sharpies I use for wink and stuff. And then you got your regular color sharpies. Like this. I have some mini sharpies too. But yeah, sharpies, sharpies galore. I don't have as much sharpies as I do thick markers. But um, yeah. Um, another type of sharpie you can use also. Oh yeah, um, there's actually a few different types of Sharpies you can use. Um, I, I'm not sure if Sharpie still makes this kind of Sharpie, but Sharpie, Sharpie, Sharpie. How many, how many times do I have to say that? But this is so nice. It color. Can I get focused on this? No, probably not. Whatever, but it colors so perfect. It's like a regular marker, but it's like super duper thin. It's not like one of those Sharpie pens, but. It's not like one of these. But and I also use Sharpie pens. You can. It's not that easy, but you can use the thick Sharpies, like the giant ones. I don't recommend them though. Um, you can also use Sharpie paint pen. Part paint. It, it's just called Sharpie paint, but I just call it Sharpie paint pens. They're pretty good. Um, they're pretty big. Um. They're really worth it. I use it on Link's boots and Link's arms. Sometimes, but it starts to fade after a little while, so you gotta be careful about that. Um, I just found this Sharpie paint pen in my brother's school bag, so I kinda like took it, but whatever. Yeah. There, there you go. That's that. That's all the Sharpies. That's all the kinds of Sharpies that I use. Um, now, um, this is what most people use for cu making customs, surprisingly. It's one of the hardest methods, and to add, no one is really introduced to all-purpose labels, but whatever. Um, this is the hardest method to use, paint. And this is going to surprise you guys. These are the only paint colors that I currently own. White. Silver. Silver is like my best color though. I use it the most. Focus. Okay. Um, some weird puke color, which is good for making the tan color for paint. Um, gold, which is my gold. I need the two layers of gold, but my gold is horrible. Um, red, obviously. And yellow. And the sucky thing is, I lost my blue, and I could really use my blue, because I don't know, like, I had all my paints in the basement, and then my dad was, like, um, redoing the basement, so, uh, like, fixing it up, it's like, re, like, ugh, finishing it up, because we have, like, a new house and stuff, we never did the basement, so, whatever, but, um, and he lost my paint, you know, I didn't even have to say all that, I could have just said, I lost my paint, but, whatever, um, one, um, now, for the most exp well, other than Sharpies, the most expensive, well, other, paint is like, pretty expensive, too. Well, it's not that bad, but the most, one, like, ah, uh, whatever, pretty expensive, but I got my set of clay, pretty cheap. Here we got some Sculpey, and it's a mess right now, whatever. Here's my Sculpey, um, this is Sculpey 3, I think? But yeah, Sculpey 3. This is, mine came in a big container with all of these colors, so that's really good. Um, I don't like to paint my Sculpey, I think it looks much better just like regular, like Sculpey 
like already colored paint. So that looks weird, but oh crap, we're over ten minutes. Ah. But um, yeah, got a big container. It's not a container. It's like a little cardboard box thing. But then for colors, I thought that I would run out of, which actually didn't end up happening. Um, I bought extra of, but I haven't run out of green yet, so whatever. But there you go. But yeah, um, I also have an extra blue and extra black. There's a lot of different sculpties you can find. I don't recommend Primo, and I and I don't recommend um, Sculpey Studios. Because Sculpey Studios sucks and it like sticks to it like sticks to your hand and stuff. But yeah, Sculpey Studios sucks. Um, Primo is okay, but Sculpey Three is definitely the best. So Sculpey Three, and if you can get it in these colors, that would be great. But that is just what I say. But the good thing about not one thing, you guys don't have to have all these colors like I do. Um. Um, I know I got a giant mess. Oh, but um, one thing about these colors that you guys, there's a reason you don't really need all of these colors is um, you can always mix Sculpey. Like I don't know, I'm just molding one around right now because I'm gonna do something with this, but whatever. Um, one thing you can do with Sculpey is mix it around, and I know this is obvious. It's like paint. You can make different colors with it. So if you only have like a few basic colors. Like you, you're only gonna need like complementary colors and color colors you know you're gonna use all the time, like brown and uh, what uh, what other colors? Like like the complementary col colors, and if you don't know what those are, that is blue, um, yellow, and red. Those are complementary colors, I think. But those are the colors you need because you can make any color with them. But you're also going to need white and black, but not any color. But you know, like most colors, you, you're going to need. You're, that's all you're going to need. But there you go. Um, now, one thing. Um, so I, yeah, I pretty much showed you all my stuff that I use, um, except for tools. Crap! Where did I put all my tools? Um, well, one sec, guys. Here, look. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna go get my tools. Okay, guys, you know what the sad thing is? I don't even have all of my tools down here. I'm so unorganized. Oh crap, we only got a minute. But here we go. I use a nail clipper. I use one of these like sandpaper nail file thingies. I know, like nails, nails, nails. Obviously, scissors. And I use this one like sharp tool it's like kind of like a, it's like as sharp as a knife but it has a little tip on it it's actually upstairs right now sorry in my it's in my room but whatever ah, but yeah um one more really important thing is you're gonna need a mini fig to do something with like to actually use this stuff with so you're gonna need a mini fig so if you don't have a mini fig I think you should go out to the Lego store or Walgreens or Walmart or wherever you want to buy this stuff and go buy it. Um, I'm running out of time, so yeah, one thing is to be creative and enjoy it. Have fun. So this has been a Gabby Gabby Studio 789 production. But I'm on Scoop to Poop, so whatever!